been sent a ton of sauces from Lucky Dog Sauce Co. And I'm sampling all of them now so I can decide which to purchase for the Cap Cave to sell because these are top of the line. Only the best for the Cap Cave. And these guys are the bestest. Lucky Dog is one of the best. Today is Chuffle Wednesday. It's like Taco Tuesday, but trendier because, you know, whatever. What is chaffle time? Chaffle time happens in the morning before I clock in to work. Uh, it's where you take cheese and an egg and you put it in a little mini waffle maker and then you cook it and it gives you a chaffle. See, I got habaneros on top of mine instead of cheese this time too. So I guess it's not called a chaffle if there's no cheese on it. Is it an egg off? I don't know what the heck it would be called, but here is mine. I usually take pictures of this grand occasion and post it to my Facebook page with this sounds of choice. But today I thought maybe let's make a YouTube video about it. And I've got two sauces here from the infamous Lucky Dog hot sauce line. So I've already reviewed a few of these guys and let me tell you, they are freaking amazing. I wanna give you a little bit of backstory here. When I announced on Facebook and Instagram that I was gonna be reviewing Lucky Dog sauces, Everybody and their brother came out of the woodwork to tell me what incredible sauces these were. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold your panties. I'll be the, I'll be the judge. Okay. And I gotta say, uh, so far I've had two. And they are incredible sauces. Uh, like, how do I want to explain this? They're, they're quality ingredients, thick sauces, awesome name brand. The website's great. They support veterans. I mean, there's like a whole thing going into this company that I am a big fan of. So uh, today, anyway, I decided that we would sit down, pull two out of the many sauces that they sent me to review, put them on my chapel and see what we got. So let's get started. I think these are two like polar opposite sauces, BT dubs, but this is called the Lucky Dog Hot Sauce made with Drake's Brewing Denogonizer IPA. This bit, it's got an IPA in it, it's got a beer in it. I, I got a theory, I got a theory. And I'm on camera saying this, okay? Some of the best sauces come from mixologists. People that were in the craft beer brewing industry in some facet or form that decided to make the jump over into the hot sauce world, they're just, it just hits different. It just, it hits different. Trust me, the Spicy Shark is an example. Uh, Revolutionary is an example. All right, show me what you got. It says, Alder smoked scotch bonnet pepper sauce with blueberry, Szechuan, peppercorn, and Drake's beer. Sometimes it's good to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> I think so too. Ah, Twinsies. Sorry, that was a little much, but <laughs> accurate. When approached with the idea of using Drake's denogonizer, Lucky Dog thought it was a crazy enough idea that it just might work. It was quite a task to keep up with the bold, dank, double hopped denogonizer. Am I saying that right? Somebody tell me. Beer forward notes are complemented beautifully by Alderwood smoked, by Alderwood smoked, scotch bonnet chilies, roasted garlic, fresh habanero dates, and the exotic citrusy sizzle of Szechuan peppercorns. The result is truly bonkers hot sauce. Oh, okay, I like that you use the word bonkers. You're doing a lot of things here that, that are grabbing my attention. Hot, savory, sharp, slightly sweet, entirely unique, and the perfect way to celebrate Lucky Dog's hot sauce 10th anniversary. Y'all been around that long? Well, I'll be John Brown. Use on everything from eggs to meat, seafood, pasta, poultry, and more. This 10th anniversary edition from Lucky Dog is sure to be your food's best friend. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Special thanks to Drake's Brewing Co. for making fantastic beer. And on their scale here, it goes all the way to extra hot and this says hot. Ingredients are Drake's Denogonizer Double Hopped IPA Beer. Rice vinegar diluted with water to 4.3% acidity. Thank you for the specificity of that. A blueberry, scotch bonnet pepper mash, uh, agave, garlic, smoked sea salt, dates, granulated garlic, dried garlic spices, and contains wheat. I don't read these before we review. A lot of times I just, I ride off of the spontaneity of the moment a lot better than I do having it pre-planned. So that sounds incredible. That is definitely unique. I am super excited 
to try this. And now after all the ingredients listed, I, I wanna try it straight before I put it on food. So here we go. I got my fancy Johnny Scoville Chasey Heat Spoon. Yeah, I gotta know what it tastes like on its own first. I've never had a sauce where the first ingredient is beer. A little bit thinner, but that's okay. Let's see, uh, how, let, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a blast of aroma. The rice vinegar with the hops immediately comes through. I need a spoon. Yeah, it's thinner, but that's okay. Oh God, except for when I overdo it and spill it everywhere. Ooh, that's good. Sorry, that was gross. I apologize. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's really good. It's vinegary, it's sweet, it's hoppy, which is weird. That's wonderful, that's lovely. That is lovely. I don't have scotch bonnets to go with my scotch bonnet sauce, but I do have the next step down. Um, Scotch bonnets from Wish. Scotch bonnets you find on Craigslist. This, you know what I'm saying, step down, habaneros. Watch her for. Chuckle me, baby. Yeah, that's awesome. Wonderful. Let's move on to the next. What we have here is a mild sauce. This is called Fire Roasted Jalapeno and Serrano Pepper Hot Sauce. Lucky Dog Sauce, a delicious addition to any dish, adding savory heat without overpowering food. Green Label, a non-traditional verde sauce with subtle sweetness from carrot and roasted garlic. Leading, lending flavorful balance to the fire roasted jalapeno and fresh serrano peppers. Use Green Label on eggs, breakfast burritos, pizza, street tacos, and Katie's chocolates. It says so right there. It says that it's a mild to a medium. Ingredients are simple. This one is a little bit meatier of a sauce. Water, chilies, which are the jalapenos and serranos. Onion, roasted garlic, distilled white vinegar, carrot juice, sea salt, agave syrup, carrot, cayenne pepper, lime juice concentrate. I love lime juice concentrate and sauce. Was that a little over the top? I don't care. Now, I'm gonna put you on my chapel. I can feel it. You ready? Oh yeah. <gasps> Pull. That's a little thicker, a little meatier, a little bolder, a little sweeter. That is really unique for a Verde. It's, uh, this one's got a great texture. It's got that lime juice. I've never had a sweet Verde with lime juice in it. My favorite Verde of all time is High Desert Sauce Co. Fire Roasted Verde, uh, because it's got this salty, savory liminess. Yo mom let you date though? That, this was pretty cool too. I'm really digging this. I've never had it before where it's sweet and limey. It gives me Martin Agrita vibes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm putting you on my job now. Oh, yes, yes. Coated my habanero in hot sauce. Tangy sweetness. Garlicky sweetness. I am going to have to pick a winner here. So I'm putting these two together head to head. This one's spicier. This one's milder. But I think this one wins my heart. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's very unique. I do love the lime juice concentrate, but the thing that took this one to the top was the fact that I could pour it on my chaffle and then it did not fall out of my chaffle onto me. However, with this delicious sucker over here, uh, uh, it's really, really good and the flavor's really nice. Oh, yeah, see? But with a waterier texture and consistency, it's falling out of my, it's falling, it's, it's falling, it's falling out of my chaffle. This one's really freaking awesome and I really like it a lot, but I do have to say that this one wins regardless. Both of them are spectacular. Lucky dog, you're really, really good at what you do. Thank you so much for sending me these to review. I'm just, I just, I love to see you. Yeah, okay. So as always guys, thanks so much for, uh, for watching and um, enjoying with me. Uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, I haven't done challenges in a while. I will be soon, I hope. 
sort of in a transitionary period at this point in my life at, at the moment. Um, but if you like this type of content and you love hearing about all the unique sauces that are out there in the world, hit that like, subscribe, follow button, and all those things that you're supposed to do over here. Or just follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram because it's Katie B. Saucy all over the place. So anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you later, Tater. I may have lied. I don't know. Because now I just got done eating and I used a lot more of the Lucky Dog than the other one. I don't know. They're both really freaking good. What do I do? I can't make decisions.